Mike Hale with Crusaders Live, joined by John Boardman and Ian Herring after a 2-1 loss in the second round of the Barks and Bucks Senior Cup. Um, we'll get onto that later, Boards. Um, big game the weekend just gone against Wilston. Um, talking point on social media has been the penalty. Give us, um, give us your thoughts on the game overall. Um, I, I think it was, you know, it was a good game. Uh, I think it was two teams committed, um, and I think it, obviously it was it was very disappointing to to concede the penalty late on and, and lose the games. I don't think we deserved that. I thought they they came out quick in the first fifteen minutes. We weathered the storm. We came into the game, and and it was a very even game from there on in. So you know, football's cruel at times. It was to us on Saturday very much so. Um, you know, the penalty, you know, in the ninety second minute. You know, it's one of those it, you've seen them given. It could have gone the other way, but I think overall, and the message to the lads after the game was a lot of positives to take from it. Um, you know, we've got Alex Wall who started uh, and got through the you know, best part of an hour. Uh, it's another ninety minutes for uh, for Anton. Um, we had to bring a centre half in late notice on loan, uh, who I thought equipped himself very well given the circumstances. So you know, overall, there's a lot of positives to take from that game. Um, it obviously wasn't the result we wanted. Um, uh, you know, we'd have liked to have won it, um, or at least I thought we were, were well worth a point. But overall, lots of positives to take from it for us. And Spud, let's get on to tonight. Like I said, two-one loss um, in the cup. You know, I thought we played well in spells. Thought we attacked a bit better today. What did you um, think of the game? Um, yeah, it was obviously difficult. I mean, coming off the back of Saturday, um, let's let's not beat around the bush. It's been it's been difficult uh, for a number of weeks now, and um, we we all know our problem position. And um, in the last two weeks, we've had we've had one player go down after five minutes, and that's come off. And then Saturday, we have our our, our other centre back um, injured in the warm up. So we're going in tonight into tonight with no fit centre backs obviously I've played there Mac of the assistants played there as well um, so yeah it, it was difficult going into the game but we thought st even though even though we're going into the game with a sort of Fred Bear squad there, there's there's experienced lads out there tonight and um, I think first half we probably didn't approach the game in the right way some people um, e even saying that after we've gone two goals two goals down we've got back into the game 2-1 and and did equip ourselves quite well. Um, the second half, there was only one team that was looking like they were going to push on and get a goal. Um, there was some nice football out there at times, but um, just need to be a bit more clinical in front of the goal. And it's, it is obviously another disappointing result. Agree, disappointing not to win. Um, Boards, I thought some of the positives were um, two of the academy guys getting a run out, Nathaniel Weeks and uh, Gabriel Silva. Um, what do you think of those guys tonight? Well, I think that it's, it's, it's always difficult coming into a uh, into a game. You know, those, those lads haven't even trained with us um, because the boys that, that, that from the academy last year that do train with us, you know, weren't eligible to play tonight um, because of other commitments. So, you know, they're coming at last minute, and I think they think they did well. Um, you know, it's always difficult coming into a game, and it's, it's probably obviously you know a standard above where they're used to playing. Um, but they're young lads, um, and I think overall, you know, once they got to the pace of the game, uh, you know, they did well, and, and that's good. You know, we're, we're looking to bring as many of those those lads through as we can um, from the academy towards, you know, obviously, you know, now we're getting into Christmas and the back end of the season, um, and infiltrating as much as we can. So yeah, look, you know, no complaints with them. They, they came in last minute, did a job for us, um, you know, and, uh, and and that wasn't certainly wasn't the reason that we, you know, we didn't get a result today. I thought we were we were well worth a, you know, a, a win today, especially in the second half. You know, it was it was relentless pressure from us. Uh, you know, and they were hanging on for for large periods. So, um, you know, obviously not a great result. But again, I still think you know we'll always put a positive uh, spin on everything. And there were positives out there tonight to take from it. And Spud, we'll close on this as you sort of alluded to. It's not it's not a secret. We're in a difficult run of form at the moment. What do we have to do Saturday to beat Truro? Um, in all honesty, bar the first sort of twenty minutes tonight, um, just keep doing what we're doing. Um. We keep we keep echoing it to the lads. We we sort of whether it's a rubber the green or a late goal here, late goal there. The the lads are looks like they're fighting for each other. Looks like they're working hard still. Um, if they're throwing the towel in in games, then then perhaps we question them as a group. And but but that's not the case. Um, they're an experienced bunch. They're a good bunch. And um, all we've got to do is keep working hard. Keep doing what we're doing, and um, obviously 
train Thursday with a view to Saturday and, and just carry on as normal really. Yeah gents, disappointing night, but thanks again. We'll catch up with you Saturday. Thank Cheers. you. Thanks.